We're back again at Black Magic to talk about DaVinci Resolve 20. Yeah, 20. It's been a long time coming. We've had this for about 16 years, I think. We bought DaVinci in 2009, so a lot of amazing updates. Still an incredible software, still a sub $300 software, so you get a lot for what we're doing, and uh, DaVinci Resolve 20 is no different, just a lot of updates in it. I think it's just amazing. If you, if you bought DaVinci Resolve, I don't know, 14, 15 years 15, ago, you still have access to 20. That's right. The big thing for us is we want to make sure that people are never locked out of their content. So if you were to have to be charging every month or something like that and you stop, you wouldn't have access to your content. And for us, we want to make sure that people never are going to be locked out. So look, there might come a time where we might charge 10 or 20 or $30 for an update, but we would never want to say, well, you can't use and you can't get your, your updates, you can't use the software because you've been using it for 15 years. But again, for 15 years, $300 software, we've never charged an update thus far. And when you look at the amount of work that we put into each one of these updates, I mean, every year I come to NAB and the guys say, this is the biggest update we've ever done. And I say, I can't keep saying that every year. <laughs> and yet here I am saying it might be the biggest update we've ever done so I won't go through all the features but this is definitely our biggest AI year mm -hmm. AI is one of those things that's like super super cool super helpful also slightly scary yes. because everyone's very worried about what AI means for jobs what AI means for creativity so for black magic design it is not in our interest to get rid of people's jobs we want to bring more people to the table have more creators and maybe they'll buy some product that would be really good for us um, what we want to do is we want to get rid of some of the redundancy some of the tedious tasks that are out there that just take a lot of time without eliminating creativity so the great example I love because I am not an editor though I've done editing the ability to go in and say hey I've got this tr this track of video that's three minutes but my music is five minutes now before I'd have to go in and start doing cuts am I doing a fade am I trying to make some club get rid of the bridge so that I can make it now I just go in and I click a button boom fits exactly and that's the kind of thing that AI can do that doesn't replace the job that hasn't made me uncreative that just saved me a ton of time and those are the type of AI features we want to have the telescript being able to have all of the teleprompter stuff come over there we want to be able to analyze all of the audio and video together and make things easier for the editor to get through editing faster. These are the things that AI brings to the table that we want to do that really help people out without eliminating jobs or making it so the creatives are being limited or handicapped in some way. So it's an exciting time, but every time we say AI, people get a little nervous because we don't want to bring judgment day from Terminator, I guess. Like, you know, it's, a, it's a scary thing, but at the same point, we want to keep empowering people because that's what we do. Perfect, perfect. Can we talk a little bit about the iPad version? Yeah, sure. Is it 20 as well? Or yeah, so the iPad version will continue to get updated. It usually lags a little bit behind. The important thing with the iPad version is that while it does most of the same things the studio version does, it doesn't have all of the same codecs that are available to it. So that's the big thing. If you're looking for, uh, hey, I'm shooting with like maybe Blackmagic camera on the phone and I want to just be able to do some editing and resolve, that's great. But if you're looking for really specific codecs and some other functionality, the iPad version is not necessarily for, for you. It'd be better to be using the studio or the free version. We have the free version that's available as well. So that's the one caveat people want to look at when they're looking at the iPad version. But, but with B-Raw, you're good to go. B-Raw, you're pretty good to go because we own that and we don't have to charge ourselves for it. <laughs> okay, okay. One thing I want to say is um, I want to commend you guys for the updates because you guys do a great job at rolling out just a lot. like. Just so much, but in a good way. Yeah. I, I love companies that continue to, to push the envelope and listen to people and give us features we actually use and not features we don't really use. Yeah. You guys are usually innovators. Um, and that's why, me personally, I'm saying it's not you, but I, that's why I think a lot of people are coming over to the DaVinci side. I, I think the fact that we've done such a great job continuing to communicate the updates we're doing, people see the direction we're going, we, we definitely try to treat our customers the best that we can. Obviously we're a business, we're trying to do the right thing by people to continue on. So like, these are things that become transparent for people that have been around Blackmagic. Doesn't mean we always get it right, doesn't mean that everything ends up being perfect, but when we talk to customers that have been with Blackmagic for a while, I mean, the best thing we have at shows is when we come to a show and someone says, I was here seven years ago and I bought my first camera. And then five years ago I started using DaVinci Resolve and now my whole production company uses nothing but, that's the best compliment we can have. Not because they just bought several hundred dollars worth of like magic product or whatever it adds up to it's because we empowered that person to actually grow in a professional manner and do things that they wouldn't have been able to do with the other tools that maybe were out of reach for them so those are really the best compliments we have when people actually are coming back and saying i've been able to do this and be successful simply because of the products we've made and that's a thing that's more rewarding than just like hey we got an award for a cool product that's nice but it's great to have these stories from customers when we come to show at nab 
one of the, the biggest questions I get, especially being on YouTube from a lot of people, is what I want to edit. What software should I get? What software should I get? And I usually point them to DaVinci Resolve for two reasons. One, the free version. They can get started. It's hard to be free. It's hard to be free. And two, whether you're a beginner in the edit page or the cut page and you go to the edit page, wherever you are in your journey or wherever you go, if you start in DaVinci Resolve, it can take you everywhere like there's no limit up to how far you can go i mean it's an impressive thing when you can say that hey 14 year old kid in high school is doing his first project and it's the same software that's doing major motion pictures in hollywood like it's the same tool that people have access to so just because it's free or inexpensive doesn't mean it's bad quality and i think that's the thing that black magic for years have been trying to show people just because we have accessible products doesn't mean it's poor quality for sure a much more expensive camera or switcher might have more features than we have, but at, insert price, $300, you have a lot of editing software or live production software or whatever we're doing. And that's always been Blackmagic's goal. Very high quality at affordable price, empowering people and bringing more customers to the table to be creative. I have a 10 year old son who's getting into editing. Yep. He'll edit, he, he tried to edit a little bit with, we'll say an app that you can download. Sure. Uh, but I, I got him on DaVinci Resolve because I'm, if you start now, you know, in a few years. It's a years, skill set that he could use forever absolutely. at this point. So, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. These are the stories we love to hear and one of the reasons we love to come to shows like NMB. I want to thank you guys for having me. You always treat me well every year. Yeah, no problem. And I always enjoy talking to you guys. Yeah, appreciate having you guys with us. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hi, my name is Alex Duncanson. I started with Flash Film Academy about three years ago. Prior to that, all I dealt with were consumers. Since I started with Flash Film Academy, I've been able to attract large corporate clients such as FedEx, IBM, Securitas, and Honda. If it weren't for Flash Film Academy, I would never have had the opportunity to figure out how to do that.